everybody. Today we're going to create a poster, a concert or band poster using postermywall.com. So once you use the link to get to this site, I want you to click right here in the upper right hand corner where it says login. When you do that, I just want you to use your Google um, School District of Philadelphia account. So I'm just going to click that. And I'm already logged in to my Google account. So it's actually bringing me right there. But if not, just type in your um, School District of Philadelphia email and your password, and you'll be right to this page. So let's get started. Okay. Um, we have my stuff where you can maybe save some things. Um, you can create a design. You can browse templates. There's products. There are things that you can buy here or upgrade. I'm not telling you to do that. We're going to use all the free options for this project. So right here, we're going to create, uh, create a design and we're going to click it. Once we get to this page, these are all the templates. You have right here where it says any image and video. Let's go to any because I think we can cr actually create um, something fun and if we have an animation in one, then so be it. But let's click right here where it says concert and bands. So once you do that, you can scroll through, you can pick whatever uh, poster layout you want because everybody has a different style. Um, they're artists, things like that, or the band. So whatever which one you like, you're going to choose. For right now, I'm going to click um, DJ Adams. And as you can see, it has a nice, like, fiery little animation. So I'm going to click that. So now once we get here, it actually says who it was designed by right here. Then it actually shows you what it's going to look like once it's done. And then we're going to go and we're going to go click right here where it says custom template. If you can see underneath, it says square. 1 to 1 ratio, 1,080 pixels by 1,080 pixels. Okay, so that's giving you the size of it, and it's telling you that it's a square format. So now I'm going to click Custom, Customize Template. All right, so let's go through a couple of the things in here. Okay, you have File, you have Edit, you also have where you can add another one. You have photo, you have media, text, your layout. You can add a schedule, um, a, a menu, add a table. There's all different things. You can add clip art, a background. You have your undo and your redo. And then over here where it says design, you, can, um, you have your type, you have your size, your animation. And there's all these different things here. So we're going to go through and I'm going to walk you through the steps. So if I click the image of DJ Adams, you can see it says replace photo. If you remember when you were reading the instructions for this project, and I'm going to go to that really fast, it says go to postermywall.com, and then it says brainstorm on who you want to create your poster on. Next, you're going to find a PNG image of your favorite artist or band, and you're going to save it to your computer. Well, I've already done that. So now let's go back. And I'm just going to click replace. Since I already have it on my um, computer, I'm going to go to my photos. And I already have one of Post Malone that I uploaded. And if not, you would go right here to upload photos. And you would find it on your computer. If you can see, this is where I got it today. Okay? So now since I have the picture of Post Malone, I'm going to click it and I'm going to go replace photo. If you can see here, it's going to say crop, don't crop. There's a square. There's the four by three. There's the original. And then there's also free. So the original and free are like the same. So we're going to keep that. And again, you're going to pick the size and crop it the way that you would want. Okay. Remember, if you want a four by three ratio, then you can do that. But for right now, I'm going with the free. And I'm going to click crop. If you can see, the photo was brought in. And if you can see, if you remember from Photoshop and Illustrator and InDesign, when you're laying things out, how you can actually align things and how it's actually coming up, which is a really cool feature. 
So I'm going to align that photo. There you go. Okay, so now where it says DJ add-ons, I can now click that box, double click, and I could put Post Maloon. Okay, now you can see that the font is a little bit too big. It's not fitting. You could stretch it like you would in Photoshop and Illustrator by pulling the sides. But if you see here on the right hand side, I can go down and just reduce the font a little bit to make it fit. I'm going to do 155 for the font. Okay. Now, if you see here, I could also pick different fonts if I wanted to. Okay, so right now I'm on EDO SZ. If I wanted to try like eraser, you know, I would, you know, I could do that. Um, I don't like that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to undo on the left hand side. And it brings me back. And you also have your redo. Okay, undo and redo. Okay. So now if I have this, now there's some other aspects of this poster. If I wanted to, I can change the date. Um, so maybe I'll make it, um, we're going to maybe do 04 and maybe we'll make this like on July 4th. You know, this is going to happen. Let's bring that back. Undo because I moved it by accident. Okay. And if you can see, I can get to this other box. And once I do that, I can now click in there and I can change that to say July. So it's like July 4th. It's going to happen. All right. With Ken Adams. So I'm going to make him actually be with Ozzy because he has a song out with Ozzy right now. So I'm going to put Ozzy in there. And you can't go wrong with Ozzy. Okay. We're going to say food and drinks. Entry is 10 bucks. We're going to make it cheap. And we're going to say maybe this starts at, hmm, let's say, 7 p.m. Okay. So now we have that part of it done. So now, if you see here where it says animation, you can do a fade, a slide, a bounce. Okay, and you could even play it. And right now we have that in there because this is what the artist created. And if you can see the title says copy of DJ party video template template. And I'm going to call this um, instead of DJ party, I'm going to do um, post. Malone um, video um, poster or video. Um, well, I mean, it's it's for Instagram, but um, video. Um, and then I'm going to put um, for, in, for Instagram. Okay. So now we have this all created. The background is solid. You can do a gradient if you wanted to. That's up to you. You can do a linear radial. Linear is across. It's always in like lines. You can also do it as radial, which is more circular. Okay. So I'm going to apply it just so you can see what it looks like. Okay. Hold on. And then we're going to play it. And it's really not showing up all that well. So let's pause that. And we are going to go back to the background here. Okay, and let's go to, okay, all right, there we go. All right, now, once we have this, um, if you can see that all this is set up, now, where if we go down a little bit more, uh, a little bit more, edge effects, you can select an item and change the edge effects. Um, you can go to 
Um, again, the text if you wanted to. Okay. Um, it's all what you really want to do with this poster. And you want to go through and see all of your options that you have. Okay. You can also send things to the back. You could bring them to the front. Okay. So like for instance, if I wanted to take this text. And I wanted to maybe put that there, but maybe I wanted him in front of it. I could go to send to back. I could bring it to the front, if you can see how that works. So I'm just going to bring that down again. Okay. Let's say that maybe in here, with all this text, if I wanted to copy that, okay, I could also change the color of that if I wanted to. Okay, maybe like a light purple. Okay, and now because I have like all of the um, orange flames, I could even go in here and we could use the slider and bring it down. And I might even be able to pick like a color like that. And then if we play um, with everything going on. Now, unfortunately, that font's getting a little lost. But you could always do something like that. Okay. Now the background here, if you can see again, where we have gradient, I'm going to go back to solid color, to black, and we're going to apply it. <clears throat> okay. So I really need you to go and just play with these and then see what you can add. If you go to clip art, if I want to add a shape. There's all different kinds of shapes that if I wanted to add, like for instance, um, if I wanted to add a heart, I can go and add that. And you could even just, um, just hold shift and you could just pull it and make it and add it if you wanted to. Okay, we're not going to do that. And I'm just going to click delete because I didn't like it. But if you wanted to do things like that and, you know, um, add something, you're more than welcome. Because there's all different kinds of things, arrows, things like that. All right. Now, if you can see where it says color is black, if I was to pick another color, like an, um, let's say like a, like a, almost like a gray charcoal color, like a darker. Okay. And you do um, gradient again. I can do something like this and we can preview it, see how this looks, and I could click apply. Okay, so now if we were going to do that, there are the two colors and the background. Opacity. And if you can see, you can start seeing where that radial background's coming in there. Okay, so I'm going to go back. And I'm going to undo it. Okay, so we are back to the black background. And we have Post Malone up here. Now, again, we're going to play that one more time. Now, let's say for this, we wanted to add where this was going to be. I could click the text box and I could add some plain text and we could put something down here so for right now I'm just going to leave it here and I'm going to put that maybe this would be at um, uh, live on MTV, okay, since we're doing the social distancing thing, maybe that he'll do a live concert. And if you can see here, I'm going to highlight this text, okay. I have it clicked, so now we know that I'm in it. I can go to a line here on the right, and once I do that, I can also take it, and I'm going to make the color of it. And I'm going to make it more of a white. And 
we could also bring it down, okay? So now if you could see, you could also rotate it if you wanted to. And if you see how he's interfering, I could take that and I can go to send to back. You see how he's gone for right now? I can move this to where I want. And then if we wanted to, I can go to send to back to the background and then I got him back. You could take this and put this anywhere you want. You could even put live from uh, live, um, you know, um, at Hard Rock. Okay, if this concert was going to be there, maybe. Okay, and you could even move this a little bit. If you wanted it, you could change the font. Click and drag to highlight it. You can go here to the font and then pick a font. Okay, and you could pick anything you want. Okay, and we could also make that smaller. So maybe even highlight and then 50. <clears throat> Not 500, but 50. Okay, and let's bring it in. And there we go. Okay, just like that. Okay, now, now if we play it, you can see how that's working. We're going to stop it. I'm going to take this, I'm going to delete it. You can also, you could have moved Post Malone up the text and then put the, the other text under here. That's up to you. Every how you want to lay this out, you, you can move anything all around, okay? So, now if you see up here, we can go to resize to any size that we wanted here. So, for instance, a poster, okay, a business card, a postcard. So, we can copy and resize. We could just resize it. You can save it. So, now we can download this. Your design has been saved. I can now go to download. We can do a basic video for free, which, of course, we're going to do, okay, for personal use, first 21 seconds only. And we can click download. And now it's going to actually prepare your download. So why this is going, um, I thought this would be a really fun and exciting um, project. If you can see in my left hand corner down here, it actually made it an mp4 a little video for myself okay so now we're going to close this you can also share this edit and view and then you can send it to somebody and then once you send it they can edit it so if you wanted to work on a design with somebody in class or one of your friends and then publish you can publish this to social media and all different things So you can connect to any of your um, social medias. And then, of course, we did the download already. Okay. Now, um, one thing also about the save. Okay. So you already saved that, and you are good to go. I hope you enjoyed this. And once you download either your poster that you can save as a PDF or if you want to do one that has a little animation in it like this, um, then you can upload your MP4. And if not, um, this is like a small video, but if not, um, you're going to do a PDF or a JPEG to upload to, uh, to the Google Classroom. So I hope you really like this. And if you have any questions, please make sure that you contact me. Have a great day.